Hello there, kids, and as I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. Alright, when we left off, we had just came out of the dungeon area and uh, had the light bulbs in tow, well, headlights in tow, technically, and we are going to have Sydney install them onto the regalia, which was the entire point of me going into there, but I decided to putz around and finish off the dungeon boss because I figured, fuck it, why not, I'm already there. Now... It has taken me quite a bit of time to get this fucking recording to go. So this might be a little bit of a short episode. It depends on what happens. Now, talk to Sydney and get her to install there all are. the good stuff. Will, did you find them? Of course I did. Yep. Got them right here. You do? Oh, thank the stars. Now, whether you keep using them is up to you. But humor me and give them a test run first, won't you? Absolutely. What's so special about them anyway? The bulbs pack a punch. The light they shine so bright, it'll have the demons heading for the hills. That's oh, actually that's pretty nice. Sure is. Would have been nice if everybody had them before the city got walled off. Yeah, it, was it about would be, 20 huh? Years ago, car running through these parts one night. All of a sudden, the demons jumped it. Oh jeez. Saw it with my own eyes. Twenty years ago, you. And I can't help thinking You're if they barely a kid at that point. They'd still be alive. You'd, you'd have had to have been a toddler. You know? Yeah. Yeesh. I get it. Yeah, Thank that's you. pretty fucked. I Let get you. when you want to give them a try. And thanks for all your hard work, y'all. Alrighty. Well, thank you. Thank you. Especially for getting them installed in my car. Because at least then we can get moving. And maybe you can reverse engineer them at some point and uh, start making them for the rest of them. Hmm? For the rest of the people on the road? That's an idea. Thank your lucky stars, because I whipped up something real special. Well, I'm sure you did. Alrighty, let's uh, customize the regalia. What are y'all after today? Well, we're going to install that component that we just got. What do got. you fix in to upgrade? The enhanced headlights. Special lights that drive off demons with a holy glow. A useful modification for those who wish to drive at night without fear of an attack. Which was a pain in the ass in me getting here. It was the... The entire time, the entire drive back uh, from the dungeon to here was completely nighttime. And I kept getting attacked over and over and over by iron giants and red giants. It was not fun. So, this will definitely help avoid that in the future. I'm thankful for that. All right. And. How's this? Or that. the hard work to me. Fixed her up real nice. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Now, um, there are still time, not time to quest, the side quests that I want to get done. One of them being right over there. Um, but that's a little ways away from where I currently am. So let's see what other ones are close by. It's weird. That these ones in particular are by the... Uh, here now. It's a little odd to me. Oh well. Uh, meat most magnificent. As usual, Taka is looking for new ingredients, but the beast he wants hunted is quite a fearsome foe. That one we can't do because the quest isn't available to us yet. Uh, this one's not available to us yet because we can't find the ingredient she wants. Um, well, at least not here. Vegging out. Oh, yeah. A couple of these were uh, getting veggies for the guy again and doing the van, which is actually, the van's closer by than I thought. And these two, relatively close-ish. Uh, <laughs> Emphasis on the ish. Um, the pylon is close by? No, not in the grand scheme of things. No, it is not. Uh, into uncharted territory. Oh yeah, that one was close too. Sydney has discovered some schematics that seem to lay out a method for remodeling the regalia into a rugged off-road vehicle. The tires she needs are nowhere to be found, so it falls to Noctis and his friends to track them down. While I necessarily don't want to do that with the regalia, the XP is still good. <laughs> so I might as well do it. Especially since the drive won't be that far. And uh, it'll give us a chance to test out the new headlights. Well, at least for another 
couple hours before sunlight hits because it's fairly close now. All right, let's drive manually. Time to go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's get it going. Man, that auxiliary Did tank is something. Great. Like Cindy to find a way to free us from the restrictions of the road. How does she do it? Uh, by following instructions. Good way to do it. By Sid, I might add. Though I'm curious what she meant by a car like the Regalia. Yeah, this seems like a one of a kind spare. thing. If he drove the car anything uh, like we do, he probably needed one. Yeah, you're not wrong. Quite frankly, if anyone and everyone could have a spare car, that'd be nice. That isn't how the world works, but it'd be nice. <laughs> and I cannot tell you how many times one car breaks down and I'm lucky that the rest of the family has at least uh, one car that they're not exactly using all the breaks. time. I'll take it from here. No, oh, I got it. Uh, wakey, wakey. Were you sleeping, Prompto? We've been driving for maybe half a minute. Come on, man. Uh, I got it. This is all good. I can park here. Everybody out. Yep. Because the thing we need is right over there. It should be a nice change of pace. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit of a change of pace. Alright. There we go. What the... the fuck is that? Are those pipes? This must be pipes. Doesn't make sense otherwise. Huh. Oh, well, look at that. A couple annex. I think those are Annex, anyway. Am I pronouncing that right? Annex? Annex? I don't fucking know. I am playing it by ear. And by ear, I mean uh, by assumption, because no one has said the word yet. So. Or at least not said it recently, so I can remember what the fuck the pronunciation is. I tell you, that noise, though. There's something else. The noise they're making. Okay, it's gotta be in here. Gotta be tucked away in here. Check. Is this the place Cindy was talking about? Looks like Most it. Likely. I imagine there are quite a few Imperial leftovers lying around. Well, here's hoping. Always good to pick up the Imperial's trash. I think I got a pebble in my shoe. Oh. Take it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should probably take it out if there's one in there. Just saying. Hey, there's one. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> that was stupid. Come on. Let's deal with this. And blind link strike. Blew through it like it was nothing. Put it in the box. Yeah. It's history now. Yes, it is. Huh. Jeez. I, I I don't like dealing with cactuars. Mainly because of that thousand needle attack. It's like, these guys do not have that much health. Especially Prompto. It's the last thing I need. Is to be dealing with that shit. Oh, hey! There's number two. Ignis, how the fuck did you do that? You were right behind me just a second ago. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. Let's go get number three. I think those are the annex still. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Slack to all. Time for some action. To be fair, wasn't that much action. Just a slack to all. If anything, he was just gonna lay there. But better to be safe than sorry. Very better to be safe than sorry. There's number three. And let us go to number four. Should be a ways in here. Nope. What? What? Um. Did I take a wrong turn at Albuquerque? Okay, I guess I did. Alright, well. <laughs> Where did I fuck up? I was pretty sure this must have been the way. Unless I'm uh, wrong, which is entirely possible. It's always entirely possible. Let's 
go this way. See if this might be the route. Well, I could have sworn I took this route. Did I not? Huh. Huh. Now I'm confused. I have three out of four. And I don't know where I'm supposed to go for the fourth. Because I got the third over there. Oh. Why are they so heavy? Because they're big. To carry them. To help you bulk up. Let's move. Ah, <laughs> uh, Gladys. son. Yeah. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this at work, even, and I work outside. Mainly because the alternative is unending stupid heat, and I don't like that in particular. So, fuck that. Give me this. Always. Every time. No matter what. Alright, now that we have the tires... Head the fuck out of here. Well, hi there. <laughs> Didn't expect to run directly into you. Alrighty. Now let's get back to the car and bring them home. Ish. Ah, it's technically a home away from home. I guess, if you want to call Hammerhead that. I want to call it that. Okay. Oh, come on now. Manual the way back. You bet. Let's hit it. Yep. Let's do it. And let's you turn it. Knock, you do realize I hit the button, right? Yeah, there we go. Sheesh. That was taking a little longer than I thought. Alright, let's get moving. drink my coffee in the meantime because man do I need to wake up okay maybe not as much as my computer did <laughs> when it started not cooperating with me but I mean hey, sometimes it happens turns out all it really needed to was reset and it was right as rain which doesn't make sense to me because I reset it semi-regularly. I meant restart. <laughs> Not reset. Reset has different connotations when you're talking about computers. Now that I think about it. Alrighty. And here we are back at Hammerhead. And park. There we go. One thing I one thing I wonder about: Do they ever deal with the tires in this game, ever? Great other than getting the fucking for a technophile like you. Other than getting the big tires for the Type D, have they ever dealt with the tires ever? Cause that's semi important too. <laughs> I mean, not as important as fuel because that's required all the fucking time but i mean tires are pretty up there especially making sure that they're the right pressure and everything like have they never indulged that once i guess not right. well we brought you the parts yep thanks y'all you boys must be beat after lugging those things all the way back here yeah we are on the right side now y'all can kick back while i fix her up just say the word and I'll get to work. Alrighty. So you can handle it by yourself? You offering to help? I'll be fine. Besides, Papa gave me some advice. Sort of. That's good. He said, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't mess up. <clears throat> I reckon that was his way of telling me I'm on my own. Yeah, I guess well, it is. Far be it from me to defy Sid's advice. Yeah, exactly. That's probably for the best. Anywho, y'all just sit tight. Time for me to work my magic. Alrighty. Into uncharted territory. Alrighty, and that's for the Type D. Remodel the regalia into the Type D and take your adventure off road. I'd rather not, honestly. <laughs> I'd rather not. Primarily because I don't like the look of it. 
Being able to fend off the demons is huge. These could save lives. Mainly Especially ours. Since not everyone can fend for themselves. Life out yeah. here will improve once we reclaim the capital. That is true. Yeah. People living out here will have access to all the benefits the Crown City has to offer. And we will make sure of that. For everyone. Exactly. See, that's the attitude they should be taking. Yeah, we, we only have this technology now just to benefit us so that way when we eventually reclaim the Crown City, we can then make it available for everyone else outside of it. Because by then, the Imperial army will no longer be a threat and we won't have to worry about that while keeping the city walled off so that, that was a roundabout way to say that they're doing good work and they'll eventually do even more good work that's what i meant anyway so, y'all keeping at it yeah of course well, be that's, seeing ya. that's not what i meant to do i meant to uh -huh. get the quest there we go howdy prince how are y'all liking your new ride Gotta say, it's pretty cool. Well, ain't that grand. I just Nothing realized his hair is dirty. Seeing a satisfied customer. <laughs> well, yeah, I bet. Is, though, the old girl's got a lot more power under the hood than she's using right now. With a few oh, adjustments, yeah? I could get her real souped up. Oh. Sure. What kind of adjustments are we talking about? Can't say just yet. Every car's got a different set of needs. So the only way to know for sure is to take them for a test drive or two. Right now, we've got the regalia running at a steady purr. But we're gonna need to push her to the limit if we want to find out how to really make her roar. A little more Whoa. work and she'll be the cat's meow. Must mm -hmm. you... So, must you, you all I just go with this length of pun? All you need to do is get behind the wheel and take the old girl for a spin. Leave it to me. Alright, I guess we have a test track to do that. Head to the specified area. Kings of the Off-Road. What? Is that for the Regalia Type D? Must be. Let me let me see. Kings of the Off Road. Although Sydney is successfully the success I can't talk. <laughs> has successfully equipped the Regalia with off road capabilities, a car is yet to reach its full potential. As thanks for her unfailing assistance, Noctis and his friends have agreed to help her improve the performance by into uh, participating in a series of cross-country test drives. Alright. Uh, it, it doesn't say that it has to be the uh, Type D for it, though. I'm so pumped for this test drive! Ugh, we are gonna ace it! Well, there's no doubt in my mind the car will pass the test. But I don't know if I can say the same for the driver. If past experiences are any indication, he's failed before he's even begun. Gee, thanks, guys. Really appreciate the vote of confidence. Yeah, fucking very nice of you guys. Fucking jackasses. So mean. So mean to Noctis. Not like he doesn't deserve it, but nonetheless. All right. Let's see if I'm right. Whoop, not, I don't want to refuel it. Not yet. Refueling is not necessary. We have quite a bit left in the tank. Clear skies with the temperature rising. Beautiful. Nice. Especially when you're driving, that's actually pretty nice. I mean, as long as it stays cool. Which, if you have AC, it, it guarantees that it is. Yeah, fuel economy will take a hit, but fuck it. Comfortable is better than not. Alrighty, let's head to the quest and see if I'm correct. And then I'll end the episode. Because at this point, there will be nothing else I really need to do. Uh, turn left there. Okay, cool. And... Whoop, there we go. Perfect. And... There we are. Whoop. Okay, didn't expect that car to come around. Everybody out. Aye, aye. Oh, the parking spot was right up there. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Mm, all right. I didn't realize that when I parked it here. All right, let's take the left and park here. 
Beautiful. All right. Taking a walk on the wild side? Nothing like nature in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That's usually pretty nice. All right. Okay. And let's talk to them. Howdy. Hi there. You boys are here to take that baby for a test drive, ain't you? Yeah. Miss Cindy's got everything all set up for you. All y'all need to do is ride like the wind. Sounds if good to me. a good time, I reckon Miss Cindy will be more than happy to give the old girl a tune-up. Oh, really? I'm ready whenever you boys are. Okay. Race across the open off-road of lead in the Regalia Type D. Okay. Unlock a new customization. Okay. Alrighty. I'll be waiting so it right is, here. So it is while you, the uh, car is in the Type D. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. But at least now I know. And with that knowledge, we're going to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and fucking around with getting upgrades for the regalia done. Especially getting the tires for the Type D that we're not going to use because I don't like the look of it, honestly, for you.